So here's the Nexus 7, and I've been playing around with it for quite a bit this evening. Now, as you can see, I've loaded a lot of my own content from the Google Play uh, stores, uh, books, music, and videos as well uh, that come into the central widget. It's just a widget. You can put it anywhere you want on the device or discard it altogether. But uh, it's really kind of useful because of the way that it loads the books that you're reading as well as the videos and the music. And um, it'll also load magazines. There's a magazine widget out there as well. Uh, where you can go out and select specific magazines, uh, some sample issues of which are preloaded, and you can flip through those as well. When you choose a piece of content to use that uh, you got from the Google Play Store, as you can see, it'll come into the widget there. I did have a video that I was looking at earlier, uh, the free movie that came along with it, and now that's been replaced by the magazines. If I uh, pick up a new song here to listen to, that's going to change uh, some of the music, that, the music that's being displayed. And I can tap on any one of these individual ones and uh, get some uh, immediately pick up where I left off. So myself, as you know, a regular reader, I really like that concept. Uh, this is more or less the default system tray that uh, comes along with things, except that I've already added some things in folder rather than just keeping things stock. This is the stock Google folder that comes with the unit. Uh, all your basic Google applications are there if you would so care to use them. I'm not sure that I want Gmail on my tablet, but uh, it's there along for the ride for now. Uh, the, the Google Play Books application comes along as well. I added the Barnes & Noble Nook app that I use quite a bit as well on my tablet for reading, and uh, both work very well. Uh, J Jelly Bean with the uh, butter acceleration of uh, graphics and overall screen performance is definitely nice. Um, in addition to the uh, Play Movie Store, I also added some things for my Google TV, my Able Remote and my Google TV Remote, as well as access to Netflix. And all these look really great. I'm just going to pull up the Netflix app here for a moment as well, because it's just a real pleasure to use here on the tablet. It just makes it for such a beautiful experience. Uh, watching this sort of content. Um, you can also load your own apps and widgets if you want, pretty much in the standard mode. One of the kind of cool things is uh, the ability to recognize music if you wanted to be able to uh, listen to a particular track or what have you. For example, if I were to uh, play something out of my phone uh, for the app to be able to recognize, it would be able to do that. So, for the sake of argument, if I were going to go here and uh, play a song. It picks up right away. So if you're sitting there listening to somebody else's music or you're in a store or what have you and it can pick up the ambient music, you can find the track and as you can see there's a link for, to the Google Play Store for you to load, download it. There's a little app that comes with this from Google called Commute that uh, will give you an idea of your commute time. I haven't moved out of my house since I've gotten this uh, unit but it will come up and give you a little number as to how long your commute is going to take. Uh, for some reason, that's not available on the uh, Galaxy Nexus phone yet, which I found kind of interesting. There's some, some interesting things that are missing on one versus the other. Uh, the default apps, uh, also, the Play Store also provides uh, widgets uh, for recommendations and what have you as well. Um, and you can watch your photos and do things from Google Drive as well. Uh, easily launch a da uh, document and, and what have you. Uh, but one of my favorite things is the, the Google Plus app, which just looks absolutely gorgeous on this device. It's really just, this is just the uh, notifications. And when you get into the app itself, if you've used it on a recent Android phone, it's pretty good there. But on this tablet, it is just so fluid, so nice to use. And stuff loads very quickly. It's like Flipboard Plus, you might be able to say, for social media. Uh, and makes you know, looking at Google Plus content an absolute dream. Um, and then there are the other sorts of things that you can get out there, typically on a tablet, like Flipboard and what have you, which, of course, also look very nice. Um, certainly, Flipboard's display on this 
you know, looks fantastic and, you know, you can't complain about this at all versus any other sort of tablet device. Um, one of the things that really kind of surprised me is that I went to tap on the search box and found Google Now. And Google Now, you may have recalled, for those of you who are able to watch the um, demo of it at I.O. 2012 recently, the developers con con conference, where all of a sudden you're going to be able to get an aggregation of content based on who you are, where you are, what your interests are. And it all works off of the search bar. And as you can see, the default action is to say, fine, you want to search. Here's your search controls. But in the meantime, here's some content that we've preloaded for you. And this is just kind of a light deck kind of default content, if you will, things that I've been looking at recently in search, things that I've been interested in or that I'm nearby. And it's kind of preloaded them into the Google Now app. So it's kind of fun. You could just tap once on Google Now, and you can do a search if you want. But then you can go out and um, you know get some of this preloaded content, and of course you can do you know some of the uh, voice-activated searches uh, that you may have seen uh, demonstrated before, such as "Who is the President of the United States?" The President of the United States of America is Barack Obama. Etc. You know, there's a lot more sophisticated ones. That just happened to be the first one that came to mind that I figured would have a pretty good answer. Uh, but you can also do things that are a lot more local, such as play song This Ruined Puzzle. Playing request. This ruined puzzle. So as you can see, it goes over to the uh, Google Play Music app and picks it up right away. Now this is with, and it worked the same way on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus after um, I got the Jelly Bean update. So you know whatever quote crippling may or may not have been done doesn't seem to affect things like that. You can find local content. You can do Google Now. You can of course search the web with voice and so on. So you know everything voice activated seems to work really nicely, and the voice interface is just as fine as on ice cream sandwich and, and nicer in some ways. Um, so all that kind of works very nice, um, and that's pretty much the the basic apps that are out there that you can play with on this device. One last thing I did want to show you is how you can go out there and transfer content via Android Beam between two devices. If for the sake of argument you're looking at a web page on one device and you wanted to say transfer that web page from the Nexus 7 here to the Galaxy Nexus phone, they both have NFC sensors. We put them back to back like that. You get a little vibrate uh, feeling when they're, when they're uh, connected. You say touch to beam. And sure enough, the web page that I was looking at on one device comes over to the other device, just like that. So you can transfer videos, photos, web pages, a number of different things. I haven't played around with it too much yet to figure out what the limitations are, but you can go pretty far. One little kind of funny thing in closing about the Chrome browser, it's very nice. It's similar to what they have on the uh, Galaxy Nexus, but one of the things I've noticed is that although you can do you can get rid of tabs and things like that by tapping and, and what have you. Um, as far as I can tell, you can't rotate uh, Google Chrome on the Nexus 7 and get it reoriented towards the horizontal. It can only be in the vertical. And that's different from what you would find in the um, Chrome for Android app on a, on a typical Android phone. So that's kind of a, a little quizzical thing. I'm not sure what that's, what that's about. Uh, but it certainly is a great browser and uh, performs as you would expect. So that's the, the basics of the Google Nexus 7 and how it interacts with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which I also got today. So, you know, I now have two Jelly Bean devices in my hands and I got them all on the same day. Uh, so it's been an exhausting experience to get these two guys working together.